by the end of today, if you do not have a dream or you do not believe that you have the ability to achieve that dream, I'm gonna change the way you think today. Jesse's performance, what I saw on the kids' faces, was mesmerizing. Guys, I didn't have any reason to make it. I just understood something. I shaped my own future, not somebody else. The amazing thing is I thought the kids are really receptive and how you can typically kind of feel that out with a, any kind of motivational speaker as they were pin drop quiet while he was talking. Let me tell you something, being successful in life is not whether or not you fail. You know how many times Thomas Edison tried to make that light bulb work before he made it happen? Just under 10,000 times. I can, I can relate to that because I, can, I want to be an actor, a musician, like after high school I plan on moving to LA and I can relate to that because I've had people tell me, oh, you know, only one in a million becomes can make it and I'm like, I want to be that one, you know? So I really related to that. The sad thing is that so many people stop and they let that dream die and what happens is this, that dream turns into poison. Walking out of the auditorium, I heard kids talking about smart goals. I heard them talking about setting SMART goals for themselves, and that is revolutionary, and it's a pleasure to see kids speaking in those terms. But do you really want to do this? I said, yes, I want to do this. So then write down a plan. I said, can I get it done without a plan? He said, yeah, you might be able to stumble across it, but your chances are about 89% less likely if you don't write it down. I think one of the things, though, that resonated I hope with more than just a few but the fact that following the dream and coming up with the plan we want everything so easy McDonald's Starbucks fast food in general has killed America because we don't want to work for anything you could hear him laughing at his jokes man I'll tell you what I am a pop star in my car I turn that radio up Sometimes to live the life that you're called to live, you have got to stand alone. And that's tough for people to do because we want to be accepted. We want to be in that crowd. I thought that was the best thing. It's going to take hard work, and you're going to have to stick with it, and you can never give up. It doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter your social status. It doesn't matter who your parents know or don't know. You are the one that shapes your future. Denfeld. We appreciate you.